Pleasant, Paul here. Today I wanted to talk about different battery characterization options, and by that I mean the typical charge, discharge, um, in order to measure the capacity, and some people measure internal resistance as well. Um, and here's a typical example of what most people are doing these days, um, using a whole lot of tiny TP4. 40, 56 boards to charge up cells, and then a bunch, one or more, of Opus CT3100 um, discharges to work out what the capacity is. And uh, some people have more charges and fewer discharges, and some people are still using uh, IMAX B6s to do their discharging. Um, but that's kind of typical. Um, in the future, um, we might see a little bit more of projects like this. This is Chris Bird, who is the person who made repacker.com. He has made a nice little Arduino-based um, charger-discharger system that will do multiple cells. Um, and he is working in conjunction with Nerdville, who has his project Jehu, um, where he wants to charge up a whole bunch, maybe maybe not quite this many, but say 25 cells at a time. And he's got all sorts of cunning plans for how to um, optimise that process and build really nice... Um, physical systems for doing it and by teaming up with Chris Bird he'll get a nice um, Arduino based system for doing all the, the electronic parts of the process. Um, so that is that project Jehu is going to be sometime in the future. Not sure how fast that project is going um, but I know there's lots of people involved in um, offering help and advice and so on. So there's that. And then today I just learned about this Kickstarter campaign for a thing called BatLab, which is a four-way charger-discharger inductance, internal resistance system that connects up to a computer and allows you to do precision characterizing of the cell. So you a high precision capacity reading and a high precision inductance reading. And then it also comes with um, software that will somewhere this, that allows you to tell it whether you're starting off with new or used cells, how many cells in the project you want to end up with. And then it will work out in some some way slightly similar to Chris the repacker.com. It will work out which cells from the the numbers that you have tested, which cells are best to go in which groups, and how to achieve the best outcome with the the collection of cells that you've got. So I am quite excited about this project. The plan is for it to for them to send out the first batch of units in late January. It is going to cost you a hundred bucks to to pledge for one of these things and for that you get the unit and access to the software. And also interesting is the plan is for it all to be open source. So there is potential at some point for the outcome of this Kickstarter campaign to feed back into what Chris is doing and what for what Nerdville is doing um, with his project Jehu. Um, there's some potential for Nerdville and these guys to get together to create a more streamlined system that will do a larger collection of cells, like maybe 10 or 20 at a time. The Kickstarter is going for another nine days. It's almost there. If you are a bit like me and you like lots of data and a bit more precision on what your batteries are actually like, then I would recommend 
going making a pledge on that well worth worth a try and i'll just i'll run a trimmed version of their video so you get a sense of what it's all about the bat lab brings a complete laboratory battery testing solution to those on a budget product which runs off a standard 5 volt power supply contains holders for four lithium 18650 form factor cells and can be daisy chained to support up to 256 cells at once a microcontroller controls the cells by loading them with complex charge and discharge waveforms and collecting precision voltage, current, and temperature measurements. These measurements are streamed over a USB connection to a host PC which analyzes the data and provides an accurate report of cell capacities and impedance characteristics. Our software solution takes it a step further by using the data to recommend cell configurations and to suggest which cells from a lot should be matched together in a module or recycled. The BATLAB's low price point and modular design enables hobbyists to create high-performance, high-efficiency battery packs typically only achievable by R&D laboratories or high-volume enterprises. All of our software is open source and our schematics are made public so that customers can tailor the product to meet their specific needs. No specialized lab equipment or expert knowledge on battery pack assembly is required to utilize this system to create high-performance lithium battery packs. So that is nice. Going back to the system that most of us are using today, these ones here um, are cheaper, but lower precision. So there's a trade-off there. If you're the kind of person who wants a bit more precision in your system, then uh, have a look at this. Otherwise, these seems to be working quite fine. All right, thanks for watching. Cheers.